is Jay Scruggs. I'm a mobile groomer in Germantown, Tennessee, and I'm going to take you through a day in my van and kind of show you the ins and outs of mobile grooming and just what goes on behind the scenes, basically. So, the first thing I want to show you, this is just the back of my van where a lot of my equipment is stored. Um, some things that are really important to have in your mobile van. You want to make sure you have a good dryer, so I have a high-velocity dryer in the back. This is where I carry my shampoo for the that leads to the front of my truck. This is my clipper vac system, which sucks the hair as you clip, have my vacuum cleaner, have my holding tanks for my fresh and my gray water. They're stored underneath my tub. So that's just a few pieces of equipment that we'll go through during the day and we'll be using. Um, one thing when choosing a van, make sure you get a van with a really strong chassis. For instance, this is an E350, so it's able to support all the weight of the generator, the water tanks, and all the equipment we carry. So that's one of the problems when people are buying a new van. They don't realize how much weight we're going to be carrying and how hard it is on the actual truck itself. But right now I'm going to take you around and show you a couple of other pieces of equipment before we go inside the truck. Okay, so now we have where my generator is built into my truck. The generator is what runs all of my electricity, my air conditioner, all of my equipment, and keeps me powered through the day. So it's built in a self-contained box, and this came from the manufacturer this way. So I'm just going to show you a little bit. A um, couple of things. So this is a 7,000 watt generator. You want to make sure you get a, a generator that has enough power to run all of your equipment. For instance, in the summertime, you want to be able to run your air conditioner and your dryer at the same time without tripping breakers. The other option you have is your shoreline. So basically, I can plug into the, to the customer's home and I can run my power off the shoreline of their home and I can run my equipment. The only drawback is if, if I have everything on in my van at the same time, it will trip their breakers. So you want to make sure you either plug into separate outlets with your air conditioner and your dryer or um, in the fall or in the winter time when it's cool, I typically always plug in instead of you know burning the gas from my generator. And basically the maintenance that I do myself, I change my oil myself, I make sure my air filters change and that's about all I do to it. I have about 7,000 hours on mine so and mine's held up really well throughout you know all of the work that I do so but the key is to keep your oil changed and just keep the regular maintenance done so and you can take it to your dealer to have that work done okay so now we're inside my truck and I just want to show you some of the components that keep me working every day so you want to make sure you have a good air conditioner that has enough BTUs to keep the van cool during the day so basically I have an RV type air conditioner on the top and it I can run it and it keeps everything cool so I don't have any problem with that do all my grooming on my table here this is an ultra lift table so I went with the electric table instead of the hydraulic so I can basically lower my table almost to the floor so if I have a big dog I can bring the big dog right up on it and I can raise it up just as high as I want um, when I'm working on a small dog so that gives me a lot of flexibility so from what we saw in the back where my clipper vac system is this is the hose that comes in so basically that hose runs to my clipper and allows me to do all my clipping here and I don't hear the noise of the clipper vac system in the back also, as well as my K92 dryer from Electric Cleaner, this is the hose that comes through, so you don't have all of the, the noise from your high velocity dryer in the back of the truck. And also, I have a small K91 dryer for my smaller dogs that I'll use. Here's where I store a lot of my shampoos. My favorite shampoos, I like to use the Green Groom, I like to use the Bark to Basics, and I like to use the Coat Handler. And depending on the coat types, you know, and, and what kind of dog I'm working on, depends on what shampoo I will use. Also, another thing when you're choosing shampoos, make sure you choose a good shampoo. These three shampoos, they don't suds up a lot, they don't have a lot of detergents in them, and in a mobile grooming van, that is so important because the more suds you get, the more water that you have to use to wash the suds away. And for instance, we can only carry 55 gallons of water. Well, my truck specifically only carries 55 gallons of water in a day, so I don't want to have to stop and fill up in between appointments. So. I've got a stainless steel tub in here. I really, I've had the acrylic and I've had the plastic tubs and I really like the stainless steel tub. It seems to hold up really well. It's easy to clean. It doesn't get a lot of grime built up in it. So, and then, so I do all of my bathing here. This is my Prima, my new Prima Encore system. This is a bathing system that runs through. It's basically, I have my shampoo in the back and I'll show you later on the day how we use this, but this is one of the latest new um, pieces of equipment that we have to offer for the mobile groomer or the shop groomer. So 